What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here for another episode of Universes. Dr. Eggman vs. Dr. Cortex. Now this is a very interesting matchup because I actually did not know who was going to win at first. Like, if it was just physically, I'm like, Cortex would win because he's physically superior. But if they had minions, then Cortex would win because he has Entropy who has all these really crazy powers, trust me. And so I was like, who's going to win? Or how is how is is there any way Eggman can have a chance? And I'm like, oh yeah, I'll just include his machines. Duh, not his minions, but his machines that he can control himself. But then Cortex ended up still winning because I found even more feats for Cortex that I didn't even know from before, like um him punching down the space station. I already knew about Cortex's Titan form because I've played Mind Over Mutant before, but just barely like skimmed over it. <clears throat> And I didn't realize that he was the one that punched down the space station. I thought, like, Crash knocked him on a self-destruct button or something that made the space station fall and explode or whatever. But it turns out Cortex actually brought it down himself with his punches, so no self-destruct button. So I found that out when I double-checked my research. And that's why his versus battle wiki page is so different than what I had in the episode, but I fixed it now to match. <clears throat> I still haven't added Cortex's speed feat though with the lightning, because versus battle wiki is like very iffy about change major changes. Like you can only change tiny details, but if you make a giant upgrade without making a whole forum posts about it, they're like nope, 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 nope. Even if it's something that literally only you. Um, like, know about. Like, if it was some obscure franchise and you were the only person on the wiki that knew about it, they'd still make, like, seven other people go, like, Oh, yes, mm-hmm, this is indeed, this is indeed, um, um, trustable. We can trust this feat, or whatever, for the upgrade. <laughs> I mean, I agree. I agree that it should be double-checked or whatever, but they're treating it like it's some kind of top-secret government security files that needs seven people for clearance testing before they can actually view it or whatever. <laughs> like, I think they're taking it a bit too seriously. Like, is it canon? Did this character do it at this time when he was this strong so it's consistent with those feats? It's very, very tight and strict about how they do their upgrades and stuff. Which, I mean, it's, it's not bad or anything. It's good to be careful. You can never be too careful. Because there are such things as inconsistencies and stuff, but it's like, they're like so uptight about it that it feels like you can't even have an input. Which is kind of sad. But it's how they run their site, and I'm not going to tell them how they run their site. Because I mean, again, the, site, the stats you see on a website don't determine how strong a character is. You determine how strong a character is. The issue is, you just have to provide the evidence to get other people to believe you or agree with you. Like my Sora star level feat in the previous episode, like, in Versus Battle Wiki they have a like, multi-solar system level because Kingdom Hearts can create and destroy multiple worlds and stuff, and they each have their own star or whatever. They're like, you know what, let's just keep him at star level. Because multi-solar system, that just, sound, that just sounds a bit too much for what we've seen Sora do. So that's why I kept him at star level. <laughs> but yeah, what do you think about the new Crash Bandicoot remasters coming out? That's related to this episode, right? Because <laughs> Cortex? Um, I think they look really good. I think they got all the animations on point. Like, when I first saw... When I first saw... Uh, when I first saw the trailer, I was a bit worried because, I don't know, the shading looked a little weird on Crash when he was running towards the camera. But I guess that makes sense because you're going to see Crash from behind all the time anyways, and when we actually do see him turn around and face the camera from the angle you're supposed to be looking at him at, it looks completely normal, so it's it's good. It's good. <clears throat> so, I'm glad the game's looking good, the game's animation looks good, the physics look good and fluid and tight and uh, precise and responsive and normal. Everything looks really good about the new Crash remix, and they're adding new features. They're adding time trials to the first and second game, which is awesome. More completion bonuses. <coughs> and they are adding a better save system for the first game. Thank goodness. And they're adding auto save, so you don't have to keep going back and forth to the warp room. So it's going to be really cool to see what they do with the rest of the remasters and stuff. Um, I don't know what else to talk about about this episode, though. 
because it was just another episode. People liked it. It didn't do as well as Piccolo vs. Boros or Sora vs. Dante, but it still did well. It still did close enough. It's not like it was a complete failure. But anyways, the next fight is a Disney duel between Peter Pan and Tarzan. Tell me what you guys think of that matchup, and be sure to make your video predictions because I haven't gotten any video predictions yet. But don't worry, the show doesn't rely on the video predictions. I have something else to add in there if we get no video predictions. So, see you all next time for another episode of Universes.